All right, welcome back to the channel, guys. So let's continue the British Empire campaign in Steam and Steel. So we're only at war with Spain still, and they're very stubborn. I offer them a million peace treaties. They don't want to. They don't want to play ball. So um, I'm just going to move this diplomat away. I'm going to try to form an alliance with Germany so they don't attack me from this side. But I'm more worried about Italy. Italy threatened to attack me. They have this huge army right outside one of my cities. We need to do something. So I'm going to reinforce this city. Zurich. Let's upgrade this. Um, let's keep recruiting. I have plenty of money now, so I can just recruit as many troops as possible. Let's move a general here as well, and maybe a few cannons. Okay, that's pretty good. We also have some reinforcements over here. Uh, now in Africa, we're looking for the settlement in this region, Equatorial Africa. Although, I think that's mislabeled. I don't think this is where the equator is. I think the equator is like right here, I think. Uh, and then in Asia, and this is where we'll actually be doing something interesting. We're laying siege to Manila. Now, this started off as a colony of Spain at the beginning of the campaign, but the Filipinos, they threw away the yoke of the Spanish and now we will put our own yoke, a British yoke, a more elegant yoke, upon them. Now, it might be a little bit tricky. They have a cannon, so it'll be a more difficult siege than most that we've had up, up until now. Okay, we have General Huan Chun, and we have General... You champ. So let's do this. All right. Nice jungle biome. And the settlement is pretty Spanish looking, like Southern European looking, which, you know, makes sense. This was a Spanish colony. We got church bells all over the place. Mediterranean looking tiles, which are good at dissipating heat. Oh, we got a forge. That's pretty good. And let's see, we got cannons up front. Let's line these guys up. Line up all the infantry. Do I even have any cavalry? I do. Okay, in the back. Uh, so let's select all the cannons, turn on fire at will, begin, but first let's break through the gate, just in case we end up needing to move in closer, and then once we're through the gate we can start, we can start aiming at, uh, okay we did it, uh, we need to prioritize taking care of this cannon. Cause that's the only real risk here. Oh, they got the they got these hats on, kind of look, look like cowboys. Come on, how are we not hitting them? Bad field of view, maybe. Come on. Take care of the cannon, and then we're gonna have no problem. It's still zero percent. Oh, we destroyed one of the cannons. Nice, nice, nice. 
Nice, second cannon down. They're getting ready to shoot. Only one cannon left. They're getting ready to fire. 16% of the enemy down, but they're gonna... Oh, they shot at their own, I think. Come on. 27%. They have one cannon left, and then they're going to have nothing. Absolutely nothing. What's this? They have some guys right here. Huh. We could try something. We could smash this wall. And that'll create an opening to shoot at them. There we go. I can tell my guys to shoot at them. They hitting? Come on. Maybe it's too far away. Let's move closer. Oh yeah, this hill was blocking the field of view. There we go. Come on. Alright, we're hitting them, but they're hitting us back. Nice. Oh, what are, what are these guys doing? No! Come on. There we go. Only 42 left. What's happening at the center here? Oh, almost no one's left here. And all, more importantly, all the cannons are destroyed, so they're not a threat. Um, Nineteen left. Let's move in closer. There we go. Come on. And they're running away. Ninety-four percent. Let's get closer. This is risky, because we'll be moving and they'll be stationary. There we go, there we go, come on. Come on, British Indian troops. Ninety-five, ninety-six. Let's move in closer. That's their general. These Indian troops kind of suck. <laughs> look, look how close we are, and there's they're still not finishing them off. Oh my god, come on! Do I have to get within melee range? Horrible aim. There we go, there we go. Is that it? Oh, there's more of them. Okay. All right, we took it. Took took a little bit longer um, than I expected, but uh, we did it. Good ratio.
All right, we've taken Manila, and by taking Manila, we've taken the Philippines. Let's do this. Ooh, public order issues. Pretty bad public order issues. Um, all right, let's let's end let's end the turn and also let's move this navy over here in case Italy decides to do something. Wow, they have a powerful army right there, led by their Held by their king. All right, end the turn. Sweden and Norway. Where does the U.S. want trade rights? No, I don't want to trade with the Ottomans because they're already very strong. I don't want them to get stronger. Decade of Iron. Uh, okay, so new technology is available. Um, so, so I'm hopeful about this army. This general, Charles D. Findlay, he has battle hardened troops from the New World. He helped conquer the Caribbean and he's ready to do some conquering in Europe now. So, a few more turns and I can land him and he'll be useful with making sure Spain doesn't cause trouble and also making sure Italy doesn't attack me. Speaking of Italy attacking, look at this, they landed an army right here in Malta. Yeah, this is Malta, pretty sure. <sighs> the crown, the crown prince of Italy. This is going to be trouble. Uh, we have a, we have plague all over the place. Uh, construction, martial law. Let's upgrade this. Amsterdam. Amsterdam. What should I give Amsterdam? Let's give Amsterdam. Mining network. Manchester. Alright. And let's keep let's keep keep recruiting. Troops. Where's that little navy? Here. Let's move some of these troops here. And into Lyon. Okay, still having public order issues in Manila. We can um, we can work on that. Let's do this and then colonization. Oh, okay. We can leave one unit and leave and then we're gonna go towards some really exciting stuff towards Japan uh, oh yeah here we're gonna lay siege to Afghanistan and they have they have their own cannons so that'll that'll make it a bit more interesting and then here in Africa we're still looking for 
The settlement should be here somewhere. Probably here. Okay, what else, what else, what else? Let's end the turn. Swedish diplomat. Trade rights. Um, sure. Actually, do you want an alliance? No. Well, we can give you money. 10k. What about... 20k. We're filthy rich. Nice. We have a new ally. And look at that. Italy attacked. I knew it. That'll be a real pain to deal with. Confederacy. No. Yes. We are at war with Italy. So let's start attacking their shipping. Let's bring in this navy as well. Construction. Uh, what should I build at Lyon? Mm, that's pretty good. Manila. How many allies do we have now? We have Sweden, Oman, Afghanistan, and the United States. I want to ally with Germany. That would be super useful. Let's offer them some money. And we have a common enemy. We're both at war with Spain. Nice. Whoa, they accepted for only 10k. Okay, so that makes sure we're not going to get backstabbed from this side. So... Let's start moving some of these troops. Um, let's move this south. Let's move these troops west. Um, let's move. That's a lot of generals, so let's move a few here. What else can we recruit? <sighs> let's pick up some of the troops in Ireland. Where is it? Okay. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, let's keep traveling to Japan. And we're gonna land right here at Edo, which, you know, eventually got called Tokyo. 
Well, let's take a look at Africa. We found the city in the desert that I've been looking for. The town of Faya. And it looks very vulnerable. No cannons. They have some um, troops with muskets, but that's about it. No cannons. Also, five more turns till Afghanistan. Sally's out. Four turns also till these guys sally out. Uh, oh yeah, this navy. Let's keep going this way. And we definitely got to do something about this Italian army. Alright, I think I'm going to end it here. We took the Philippines. We're getting ready to take Afghanistan next. Also, another huge chunk of Africa. We're going to obliterate Italy as well, because they declared war on us. We've secured this flank with Germany. We still got to deal with Spain, but they seem pretty busy. And I think they're at war... Yeah, they're at war with Italy, so that benefits us for now. I think we can, as long as they're not attacking us, I think we can hold off on launching an invasion of Iberia. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, please subscribe if you haven't. It helps the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.